Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to use MD5 and SHU1 method inside PHP application. So this is going to be very simple example. So I'm not going through a complex one like accepting input or directly passing this data to MySQL table. So the example will be simply conversion of user string into md5 and sh okay so let's first have message to echo something like md5 hash okay then we are going to use md5 method and going to convert this password user password one to something secure okay now i'm going to break this one with your break tag and then going to equal sh a1 type sh1 and inside that again user password one so what this program is going to do here is this will convert this string to md5 hash same with sh a1 hash so what exactly is md5 it is message digest file algorithm that is going to encrypt our user string into a longer string so that decrypting it will be very hard and it will take a lot of time like in years same with sh1 hash but the long form of sh1 is secure hash algorithm one okay so what is the use of such is Whenever you get some password or sensitive data that you don't want to see or you want unknown users to see this data, then you are using one of these methods, convert the string into something random, store it into your MySQL, then when comparing your password, these two strings will be compared and then you will able to use your login functions or you will have some other functions performed so this is very handy in terms of security okay so let's execute your example here okay so first thing we see is md5 hash which is totally random data here and then sg1 hash again even bigger string than md5 so let me refresh again and you will find very small change here so it won't change every time it it's supposed to do so it's not going to with a refresh itself with every refresh here with button so you just have to change the password here Let's say I change this to 2 and then md5 string will change Okay, as you can see here, so each letter here is going to be specific to this md5 hash. Same with sh1, you can have it here with small change. Okay, so string is changed here. It will remain constant only for this particular one. So it is very, very hard to break so whenever you are using it for let's say password or let's say personal information then this is going to be very useful so i hope you found this simple introduction to md5 and sh1 function useful and 
in future tutorials i will actually show you how to make use of these two functions in your application so that you can effectively use it for security of your user data or for something like password or sensitive information so i will see you in the next tutorial thank you for watching